For the exercises, I don't recommend grip strength exercises, squeezing a ball like that, because it's not a strength issue. Also, many people do touching each finger with a thumb, something like that, but it's not a motor control issue, so you don't want to do that. So if it is dumbbell is the bone, and this is the retinaculum, and your tendon goes under there, and if your muscle is being tightened up, tendon is being stretched out because your muscle is pulling it away from the bone and if you keep using that muscle contracting 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 moving up and down up and down so the sheath of the tendon is being rubbed against the band and then inflamed after massage we're gonna do some lengthening exercises okay again the principle is the same as tendon rehab your pain level should be below 4 out of 10 and you need to build up slowly. Okay, the first exercise is with this band. When you do the thumb up position, your muscles contract and when you take your thumb in, these muscles will get stretched out. So, if you do that action, your muscle will get shortened, contracted, right? So muscle gets shortened, lengthened, shortened and lengthened. So we don't want to do that shortening exercises because your muscle is already quite tight and we just loosened up. So we want to lengthen up the muscle a little bit with that eccentric lengthening exercises. So you take your thumb out to the side using the other hand, the other fingers helping out. And then from there, slowly move in. Again, pull it out with the other hand and then you just uh, increase the tension as you spread out your fingers the tension on the band will go up, right? From there, slowly move your thumb inwards so that these muscles will be stretched out on the loading, okay? Again, pull it out so you don't want to do this by yourself, okay? So pull it out with the other hand. Pull it out and increase the tension. And move in. If that's painful, you just do this. Hold it there, hold it. Hold it for 10 seconds, maybe two sets to start with and slowly build up. Actually, if you can hold for 45 seconds, According to you know tendon rehabilitation studies, that 45 second hold can actually give you a bit of like a pain relief, and at the same time you can maintain the muscle strength as well. But if you don't have any pain, you can actually do these exercises. Maybe start with two sets of five, two sets of ten, and slowly build up to three sets of fifteen twice a day. And if that's difficult doing this kind of thing, you can use your own finger, the other hand. All right, so thumb up position. You're going to push down while resisting through the thumb. So thumb up position, your muscles activated, shortened. From there, I'm pushing it down with my other hand so that this muscle will get a little bit stretched out while controlling that stretching force. You can use your palm as well. Yeah, just thumb back and push down. Again, 3, 4 out of 10 pain is okay, but beyond that, you don't want to do these exercises. You just hold it, hold it like that. So give it a bit of resistance and hold it for even 5 seconds, 10 seconds, 15, 20, up to 45 seconds you slowly build up and once you can do the holding exercises maybe five times a day without any pain you can actually slowly push down uh, and then start that eccentric exercises and also you need to do lengthen up this muscle too this muscle brings your thumb inwards right your muscle shortens and lengthens the other way so we'll start with that muscle in a shortened position first and then as you push in and try to pull back with the other hand okay so 
push in and pull back, 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 back. So when you do these exercises, your normal pain area shouldn't be painful. Um, two, three out of ten pain is okay, but more than that, or any lasting pain is not good. Okay, so your pain should stop when you stop the movement. So even though you stop the movement or stop the exercises or massage, the pain lasts for you know a few minutes or you know ten minutes, twenty minutes. That's not good. That means you've irritated the inflamed tendon. So you don't want to continue doing that same exercises or just re reduce that range. Okay. So if you bring your thumb too far out like that, if you feel the pain, just stop about there before you feel the pain. So that's the exercise for that muscle. And the last one is for the pronator. So pronator muscle shortens when your thumb rotates inwards. And when your forearm goes the other side, your muscle will be lengthened right so you hold the weight very small weight or just water bottle 500k and just put your forearm onto a table and just rotate your forearm out to the side so that your palm facing up so when you come back you have to help with the other hand and go down slowly and come back up so this is actually good for golfer's elbow as well i'm gonna make another video about golfer's elbow which will include this exercise and come back up and you can try something like this because your shoulder sits forward and that affects your forearm rotated inwards and thumb as well just rotate your arm out to the side like that so don't bring your arm backwards just rotation And as you rotate, you bring your chest forward. And squeeze between your shoulder blades. As you rotate your arms out, you try to breathe into your chest. Expand your chest as much as you can. And as you come back, breathe out. Okay, breathe in. Now when you do that, if you can tuck your chin in and push your whole head backwards, that'll be fantastic. As you push your head back with your chin in, you can activate more of that spinal muscles attached between your shoulder blades and even upper um, neck area as well. So it's better. But if you feel pain around your neck, probably you need to stick to that arm movement only. Actually, this symptom is very painful and easily gets irritated. And it's very important not to aggravate your symptoms, right? So I'm going to show you how to make a brace using a straw. So this is how it's done. Starting from the base of your thumb and goes all the way down. Now this straw is a bit hard, so there's a little bit of gap here. But you should use like a softer one so that you can kind of lay down along that muscle and tendon. So it can give you a bit of more freedom compared to the wrist brace. This might help with the pain, but it doesn't really you know, fix the problem. So give it a go. And if it's effective, you just use it. But the long term solution is the massage and the lengthening exercises. So that's it. Your thumb pain is also similar to tendon problems. So we should take a similar approach as we do for the tendon rehab. Uh, massage the actual muscle. And don't touch on the actual pain area, don't touch on the tendon, don't compress, don't stretch. Of course it is an overuse injury, but compression and stretching play a role definitely. So, we can't do anything with the hormone, but we can do something with that stretching and compression component. We need to loosen up your muscles and lengthen up at the same time. And just work on the actual root cause of that pain. But the most important thing is not to aggravate your symptoms. So try to avoid anything that gives you pain around that area. And just try that brace and let me know how you feel. If you found this video useful, subscribe, like, and share with someone's mom, you know. I hope this video helps. Thank you very much. I will see you next time. And enjoy. 꾹꾹 누르시면은 진짜 큰일 난다. 아, 내 몸산다 진짜.